Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sale show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. What's up, folks? Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sale show, your number one resource for Cleveland real estate investment opportunities, right? Today's property, 3482 West 118th, Cleveland 44111, fully occupied, priced at $79,000. $900. Now, for those of you who've been paying attention to the Cleveland market, as of recently, this price point might be exploding your brain, right? We're normally dealing with properties priced over $100,000, similar to this one, right? $100,000, $110,000, $115,000, $120,000. And they are being sold within hours. So your brains are probably exploding. You're like, what is going on, James Wise? What is the catch here? Why is this particular property only $79,900? i am very confused. Does it need a major renovation? Nope. No, it doesn't, right? As you can see, we renovated this bad boy a couple years ago before we put in these tenants. We've been managing this for years, right? We got one of those tenants paying seven sixty, the other paying seven fifty. Although, truth be told, uh, at this point, we could probably bump those rents up, right? This is twenty twenty two, man. Your Tabasco sauce or your jalapeno sauce at your local grocery store ain't the only thing that's going up folks so has rents right so honestly market rent we're probably looking at 795 795 right so 1590 right so this is where you're confused right you see in the photos before we put in the tenants we renovated the units prior, you know, did normal turns and stuff uh, before these two current tenants got in there. The exterior footage of the property looks good. Nothing is falling apart. Everything is looking good. The rent roll currently pretty close to market. Market rent's amazing. All the other properties in Cleveland are selling for, you know, thirty. $35,000, $40,000 more than this. What is the catch? Am I just giving away charity today? No. No, I'm not. Folks, we got to talk about something. We got to talk about the new lead-based paint laws in Cleveland. And I am fairly upset uh, with what I'm seeing out there from other real estate professionals. Now, I know that these bad boys are new, okay? These are new. But by the end of this year, by the end of 2022, every single property in Cleveland is going to need to be lead certified if you'd like to continue operating it as a rental property. Now, truth be told, uh, th this, this stuff is all new. It's different here in the Cleveland market, and there's a little bit of a learning curve for everybody, right? Uh, the government, <laughs> the Cleveland government definitely does not have the reputation uh, of being the smoothest operators, right? So there's been some bungling on their side. And then as of the operators and everybody starts to pick up their systems and their processes, everybody's understanding what's going on. Uh, but I'm seeing a lot of other people out there selling duplexes that have tenants in them in Cleveland, making no mention of these new lead requirements i know they're new but folks at some point y'all got to get up to speed right so if you're an investor out there and you're trying to buy properties in the cleveland market the first question you need to ask the people you're looking to buy these properties for if they're in the city of cleveland itself is what's going on with the lead certifications right because a lot of people don't seem to know about them or they're just ignoring them right it's not like a point of sale okay a point of sale inspection right well before i even get to that first we need to get some things straight here folks okay when i say the cleveland market i'm referring to the greater cleveland area okay the greater cleveland area 
the area that Holton Wise services, the area that a lot of people watching Holton Wise TV are interested in investing in, we're looking at a population of like three to four million people with many different city suburbs, all that included, okay? Cleveland, the actual city of Cleveland, folks, only has like 340,000 people, right? So it's a very small subset of our overall market, right? So let's get this terminology straight. So when we're in the Cleveland market, a small portion of that is the city of Cleveland. The city of Cleveland is the only city that has these new lead laws, right? So if you're not interested in dealing with this, just invest in a different city. Don't invest in the city of Cleveland, right? Invest in Lakewood, invest in Elyria, invest in Lorraine, invest in Parma, Garfield Heights, Euclid, Cleveland Heights. Like there's so many places you can invest. If you don't want to deal with it, you don't have to, right? So when you're looking at a property, if it's in the Cleveland market, doesn't necessarily mean you have to deal with these lead laws. If it's in the city of Cleveland, though, you do. So that should be your first question. What's going on with the lead-based paint certifications, right? Number one. Number two, in the Cleveland market, in some of the cities, but not the city of Cleveland, we have what's called point-of-sale regulations, where when a seller goes to sell a property, the city does an inspection and they issue violations. The seller has to either clear those prior to the sale or the buyer has to sign off on assuming them so you'll know what you're getting into right this lead-based paint violation ordinance is not set up that way right so i'm seeing what appears to be a lot of people in the city of cleveland selling properties without going through the lead certification process and buyers appear to not have any idea what's going on right so uh folks if you're paying attention to the Cleveland market, this is new, this is real, this is happening. So you got to pay attention to it, right? And that's why the price on this particular property is so much cheaper, right? Uh, the date in which this property was supposed to be certified based on its zip code has already passed. Uh, Holton Wise has gone in and put together the full bid. Uh, to get this property completely lead certified, depending on the conditions of your properties, folks, depending on if you have vinyl siding or wood siding, vinyl windows or old wood windows, right? Your, your bids are going to vary depending on what the inspectors and the people out there are finding, right? So we've already put that bid together for this particular person. He said, I don't feel like dealing with this. I'm going to invest outside of the city of Cleveland. I don't want to mess with this. That is why. The price is so low. So if you're interested in getting that lead bid from us, folks, just send us an email, sales at holtonwise.com. And then what I want you to do is submit your offers to us, uh, contingent on inspection. If you're paying cash, I need your proof of funds. If you want to use financing, I need your pre-approval letter, right? But the moral of the story is, folks, we got to pay attention to these new Cleveland lead-based paint laws because they're real. They're here to stay. And this, in my opinion, is why it makes partnering with a professional property management company even more important when you're investing in the Cleveland market than it used to be, right? I've always, for years, I've been coming out here just dogging people who start hiring these cowboys off of Craigslist who are not actually licensed and are doing handyman work instead of professional licensed quality contracting, right? The stakes have been upped even higher. The the problem you'll face doing stuff like that is even more. So it's even more important if you're going to invest in this market to have a team behind you that knows what they're doing. And guess what, folks? Holton Wise is fully capable to get you all your lead-based paint certification work done, certified, checked off by the city. We will get you taken care of, keep you legal. Because, just so you're aware, folks, the way they're enforcing this right now, they're not going to come after you at the sale. It's not a POS, like I said, but what's going to happen is you're going to have some tenants in your property, and one day those tenants ain't going to pay rent. Then you're going to try to evict them. And then the housing court's going to be like, no, nope, sorry, can't evict them. Your property is not lead certified, right? So, again, I see out there what appears to be a lot of people selling properties in Cleveland, not going through this process, right? So, eventually... The bill's going to come due, right? Everything might be fine, hunky-dory. They're floating under the radar, I guess. But one of these days, they're going to want to evict somebody, and then the city ain't going to let them. So then what are you going to do? You're really stuck between a rock and a hard place. you got a tenant living in your house. You're not lead certified. The tenant ain't paying your rent. 
and the tenant can't get evicted by you because you never certified your property up front, right? That is going to be a sticky situation. And by the end of 2022, it's going to be a reality for every single investor in the Cleveland market, right? So this property, folks, priced exactly how it should be given the fact that it needs some work to go through this lead certification process. So don't go out there overpaying for other properties now that these new lead certifications are reality, right? So get the lead certification by emailing us, sales at holtonweiss.com. After you review that, you want to submit an offer. Again, cash offers include your proof of funds. Financed offers include your pre-approval letters if you need lenders. When you're asking me for that lead-based paint bid, go ahead and ask me for my lenders. I'll get you those as well. And folks, if this sounds cool, this sounds interesting, but this is all confusing to you, and you want me to work with you personally, one-on-one, -on -one, to help you navigate the confusion of the Cleveland housing market or just investing in real estate in general, and uh, you want more of a one-on-one -on -one feel than what you're getting here on Holton Wise TV, under the video, there is a link uh, to book a free call with my team to walk you through the process of working with us one-on-one, -on -one, right? We have another show called the MLS Search and Analysis Show. That show is geared towards you one-on-one. -on -one. You'll get individualized, personalized videos from me about properties based on your wants, your needs, your goals, your criteria, right? So, for instance, you could be somebody who's like, dude, screw that new lead-based paint law. I ain't dealing with that, bro. Let's just go deal with a different city because uh, I don't want to mess with it. That seems like sticky. Let's give it a year or two. Let's let the city figure out how they're going to enforce this thing. And then after that, we'll look at Cleveland. But for now, give me one of them Cleveland suburbs that are kicking off good returns, James. No problem. I can do that for you. The MLS Search and Analysis Show is where you want to be. So, again, book that call below. Send in your offers to sales at holdenwise.com if you want to take down this duplex for $79.9. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.